بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين uh, الله عز وجل in verse number three will continue with سورة القدر الله says ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر الله عز وجل asked محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم a question in the previous verse what can make you think that you know the greatness of this night what is Laylatul Qadr what is the status of that night the scholar said this third verse is an answer to that Allah Azza wa Jal says Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alfi shahr the night of Al-Qadr is better than a thousand nights. A thousand nights is almost 83 and a half years. So Allah Azza wa is saying that this one night is better than 83 and a half years which do not have Laylatul Qadr in them. How long are we going to live? The Prophet Sallallahu told us that the average lifespan of his ummah is between 60 and 70. And he said, And few are those who live beyond that 70 year old or 70 years of age. Right? So imagine the effort exerted during one single night entitles one to obtain the reward of 83 and a half, well actually it's 83 and four months to be precise. 83 years and four months of ibadah, these years none of them has Laylatul Qadr. Can we now begin to understand or begin to realize the status of that night? Can we now begin to know the secret behind making it hidden so people exert more effort to make sure that they will coincide, the ibad, their ibadah will coincide with that night and thus become deserving of this great reward? It's indeed a very precious jewel that night and one ought to be very keen to make sure that he exerts enough effort during these last 10 nights in order to make sure that he coincides with it and deserve becomes deserving of the thawa if Ramadan see what is the thing that made Ramadan distinct. Allah tells us, Shah Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an. What made, what distinguished Ramadan and made it better than the entire year, the, the other 11 months, is that during it, Allah sent His words, revealed the Qur'an. So this is regarding the entire month. How much loftier and greater would it be that very night of that great month, the greatness, the greatness of which was due to the Quran being revealed, how much greater and loftier will be that very night during which the Quran was revealed? Laylatul Qadr. And then one point that the scholars mentioned. Uh, they said Laylatul Qadr, which is something that entitles me and you to a great reward of 83 and, a, and four months, 83 years, is to make up for the shortness of the lifespan of the Muslim Ummah. You see, the nations before us used to live long, long years. But our Ummah has a very, very limited period. So they said it is one of the blessings of Allah Azza wa Jal with which he favored the Muslim Ummah 
is to give them this night to obtain a reward of long, long years during a very short period of their lives. When uh, is one, does one become deserving of reward? When he reaches the age, the age of account, all distinction rather, not accountability, right? And according to some scholars, it's even before that, even if he is younger than the age of distinction. But how many years would one be able to work? 50, 60, 70 years if he worked from the moment he was born? Well, 70 equals 70 months of Ramadan, 70 times 83 years, that's a lot of years. You get the reward of all of these years in a very short period of your lifespan. Allah Azza wa Jal goes on to say, تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالرُّوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرِ The angels and the spirit. Ruh is Jibreel alayhi salam. They send therein by permission or command of their Lord for every matter. They come down with every command Allah Azza wa Jal commanded them to descend with, whether it is people's provisions, lives, or other matters. And during that night, the angels successively and continuously descend. It's, it's, it's a festival. It's a night of a bright light. You know, angels ascending continuously in huge numbers from the heavens to the earth. What a blessing. Because when they go down, they go down with rahmah, with mercy, with blessings, with all goodness. The entire night, angels are descending with this. Mankind, Muslims, are showered with this during that. They're overwhelmed. Don't you feel? During Ramadan and particularly during the last 10 nights of Ramadan and for whatever reason, because you cannot really tell when that night is, during one of these nights, you feel extra joyful, extra relaxed extra peace in the environment, at home, in the masjid, on the streets, everywhere. You feel peace and tranquility. During tara Taraweeh and Qiyam al-Layl, during the last 10 nights of Ramadan, the matter is totally different than the first 20 nights. People's spirits are high. Their hearts are cleansed. Their hearts are closer to Allah. Tears are much easier to shed. Genuinely. Not fake ones. During these last 10 nights. Then the first 20 nights. It's, it's an event that's beyond description. Subhanallah. You know, Allah Azza wa Jal sent this nur, this Quran, and the angels are nur. You, you feel a connection between the, the light of the Quran and the light of the angels during that night, reflecting as light in your heart. Allah Azza wa Jal in the last verse says, Salamun hi, Salam. Peace, a beautiful description, very soothing to the heart. Salamun hiya hatta matulain fajr. Peace it is upon us believers. Peace it is that night, Laylatul Qadr, is peace upon the believers until the emergence of dawn, Al Fajr. Because with the crack of dawn, Laylatul Qadr ends. Because the following day starts, right? So, Allah Azza wa described it 
as peace, security. So many people will be saved from the fire of hell. Fire of hell. So many people will be saved from the consequence of their evil sins. So many Muslims will become deserving of entering Jannah. Doesn't this bring peace to your heart and mind? Doesn't this word peace describe the state of hearts and mind of all believers? It makes you feel as if the entire globe is enjoying peace during that night. Subhanallah. You know, it's saddening sometimes to see some people deprived from that night. They either spend it on TV or having a very, very prolonged dinner or iftar from the time of iftar until fajr. They continue to eat and laugh and just chat and talk about nothing useful where they when they can be actually in the masjid collecting and collecting more reward and exposing themselves to the mercy and blessing and bounty of Allah and when one is deprived from this nothing can make it up when you lose out when you miss out on that night, ain't nothing going to bring it back. And ain't nothing going to make up for it. The Prophet ﷺ said, مَنْ قَامَ لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ إِيمَانًا وَاحْتِسَابًا غُفِرَ لَهُ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِنْ ذَنْبِهِ This is reported by Al-Bukhari and Muslim. Whoever prays Qiyam during the night of Al-Qadr, out of faith and in hope for the reward of Allah Azza wa Jal will have all his previous sins forgiven. This by itself is enough to motivate us to strive during these last 10 nights so that we make sure that we've coincided with that night. It's enough to know that Praying that night is going to make me pardon for all the sins before that. That's enough reason for me to exert all that. That's enough reason for me not to sleep that night for 10 nights. Aisha radiallahu anha, and with this I conclude, and this is reported by Ibn Majah, classified as authentic by Al Albani. She asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, saying, O Messenger of Allah, what if I happen to know when the night of Al-Qadr is? What should I say? Meaning, is there a particular supplication, dua, I should say special for that? He said, say, قولي, اللهم إنك عفو كريم تحب العفو فاعفو عني. So it's legislated during the last 10 nights of Ramadan to uh, supplicate Allah Azza wa with these words, with this dua abundantly. Because again, we don't know when the night exactly is and therefore we need to cover all possibilities by saying it every single night of the last 10 nights. We ask Allah Azza wa to uh, not to deprive us from Ramadan. And Ramadan is just around the corner, less than two months. And we ask him Azza wa Jal to enable us to enable us to exert utmost effort in worshiping him, supplicating him, mentioning him subhanahu wa ta'ala and reciting the Quran and praying Qiyam and fasting Ramadan properly with sincere intention and hope 
in the reward from him with full faith in Allah Azza wa Jal. Allahumma ameen wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Subhanakallahumma alhamdulillah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.